Welcome back to Red Glasses Talks. The, the title today is All Pro. All Pro. Tom Landry, the great, great coach for the Dallas Cowboys, was asked one time years ago, how many players on your team do you think will make All Pro, which is an elite class of players as uh, based upon their performance, et cetera, during a, a year or a season? Um, he said, not many. And then the person asked, well, why, why so few? He said, well, you, you need to know something. We only select players to be on our team that have the potential to become all pro. Well, then why do so few make it? And then he said this, because they don't want it badly enough. Dear friends, do you want badly enough to become the person that Jesus wants you to be and allow him to use you in the way he wants to use you while you're on this planet, on this, I might say, dying planet? How about that? You know, we're not here to mooch off of the planet as a follower of Jesus. We're here to give, not just take. So I think, you know, a lot of what I see with the that's one of the key signs of immaturity in the life of a believer is they're selfish, uh, self-centered, focused on themselves. In fact, I would say the most unhappy people I know are people that are focused on themselves. The scripture tells us that he expects us to bear fruit. So if you look in the Gospel of John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the 15th chapter, the 16th verse, this is what Jesus said. He said, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that would last. So here's the question. Are you bearing fruit? The kind of fruit the Bible talks about that we're supposed to bear because Jesus Christ is in our lives. So we're going to talk about in the weeks ahead how to get in shape so as to be able to bear fruit especially the fruit of impact in the hearts and lives for men, of men and women for Jesus Christ. So get ready. 